All right, so here's my EcoFlow Ultra cabinet here. I've got five batteries here, and I got the little Delta Pro 3. I kind of bought into the EcoFlow, um, EcoFlow ecosystem after Hurricane Milton and my Generac let me down. So here's an update video here, March of 2025. Uh, I just want to show you how I'm using now my Generac um, in conjunction with the EcoFlow ecosystem to kind of create a whole house backup system. So this is the... EcoFlow uh, Ultra charging at 7,000 watts, which is it's it's maxed out here with regard to um, charging through uh, 120 or 240. The only way to be able to get more out of this is adding solar. But here it is charging at 7,000 watts, bringing up these two batteries and kind of what's going on. You could see kind of behind the scenes here. I want to show this because no one's showing any of this stuff really. This is going into a dryer outlet, which is a 240 into their dedicated EcoFlow um, uh, in-out port into their generator cord. So the, it's using the generator cord, and I'll link it down below. I'm not affiliated with EcoFlow it, it, by any means. Actually, they won't they won't partner with me. I don't know <laughs> I don't know why, but um, that's actually good for you guys. So unbiased review here. That's how my channel's always been. Um, but this is going through. I'll put a link down below so you can get that. But this is going through the Generac right here. So this is 7,078 watts coming in, which is clean power at 60 hertz. One thing I want to note too, before I jump over to the clip of the Generac, these ultras are extremely picky when it comes to the input frequency and pure sign on your generator. These will not accept charge from my new Duromax 13,000 conventional generator. The Delta Pro Ultra will accept charge from that. And I'm talking about through the generator plug 240, which is the fast charging in. So I want you guys to keep that in mind. I'm going to make a lot more update videos on the channel about that. But the Generac whole house generator is clean enough power for the Ultra, which is a very sensitive sort of battery system. Let me show you what's going on on the other side of the house and show you how this thing's getting 7,000 volts. So if you guys remember my previous video, here's my setup. My house currently has, and this is just for, you know, general knowledge here about my project, but my house has 400 amp service coming in and it's running dual transfer switches because I have two panels in the house, one on the new addition side, one on the old construction side. They made me add a panel, even though I'm maybe at 250 watts. So or amps, I'm sorry. So, I, you know, it's not like the house uses more than a normal house. It's just, this is a code thing. So I had to run, I had to buy two of everything, basically. Two, uh, two Delta Pro Ultras, two <laughs> transfer switches. I mean, I've uh, bought all this stuff with my own money, but I want to show an update here of how I'm running this. So I just kind of go in, drop the utility power on the panels. I'm not going to show you how to do that on the video. Switch these two off, which is the service disconnects. Generac fires right up automatically. My plan is in a storm is to have the Delta Pro Ultras running full time through these, which are the the transfer switch outlets. So I'll show you here. No, I'm sorry, not transfer switch, generator inputs. So I put 50 amp um, outlets on each one of my panels, uh, one inside and one here in the garage. I'll show it here. Here's my interlock, which you you can't, you don't want to run that 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 inlet box outside without an interlock because if this is on and you touch it yeah that's bye bye so interlock is set up right now it still thinks we're on utility power so the interlock is off so a portable generator in this case did not work because generac is running the house so my plan here is i got 250 gallons of propane in the ground i've added propane taps on the outside of the house that have access to the big um tank in the ground uh, near everywhere I have an inlet box so I can run a portable generator I can do it a few ways I can run the eco flows which is the primary way which is silent clean power all you know all night long um, into this 
uh, inlet box. I can run a big, the big boy here, which I'm finding out is not the cleanest power in the world for the EcoFlows. I can run the big guys here into the inlet boxes. I also have backup propane for that. Um, or I can add, I can run the Generac. So my idea is to deplete down the EcoFlow Ultras um, down to about 10%, throw on the Generac, have each Ultra plugged into the outlets. The Generac produces 24 kW. I'll only be pulling 14 to 15 kW with everything off. It'll charge those up in about two hours. Drop the Generac back down so I'm not sucking all the propane out of the ground and then go another day. So that's my, my plan here. I wanted to do an update video on this stuff. I'm gonna do a deeper dive into this, but I wanted to get this up on the channel. Um, and kind of show the Generac and, you know, charging the EcoFlow Ultra um, at that high wattage, um, which is what you want. You need to get these things charged up quick and back back off again to use as little fuel as possible. So that's kind of what I'm going, what I'm doing. So if you guys like this kind of video, thumbs up, subscribe. And I'm going to do one more clip of the EcoFlow showing this thing charging. Come back in here into the cabinet. You can see Ultra is charging very nicely. It's saying about an hour and 15 minutes to charge this two battery stack. So if you think about it, these are six kilowatt hours of battery and you got an inverter on the top. So if that's the estimate, you're looking probably about roughly 45 minutes. If you think about it, if it's 6,000 kilowatts and you're charging to 7,000 kilowatts, it's gonna be a little bit under an hour, 45 minutes per battery to charge up on the big Generac. So these are both plugged in simultaneously. You know, got the big one here, which is running this side of the house. And here's my inlet box right here that runs off of a um, interlock upstairs. So you gotta think, you know, about hour and a half per every two batteries. So, you know, call this two hours and 20 minutes, give or take, if, you know, if it slows itself down at the end cycle. So it's a pretty quick charge up using the Generac as basically a big battery charger. That's what I've come to uh, use it as. I would never trust it again to run my house after what it did to me during Milton. I mean, you know, woe is me kind of thing, but still just the concept, it should work all the time. So that, and then I have backup plans. I have the Smart Generator 3000 that communicates directly with this little guy for refrigerator backups and stuff if everything fails. And then I have the Smart Generator 4000, which can push this EcoFlow Delta Pro 3 pretty hard. Um, little propane bottle. The most efficient setup is, the, is that Smart Generator 4000, that Delta Pro 3 on a little barbecue you know, propane bottle that you can find anywhere, even during the storm, plugged into your house. You're just not running your central air um, and your well pump at the same time. So you gotta be mindful of what you're turning on and off, but that's a pretty efficient system. So I got backup on backup on backup now, instead of just trusting um, that Generac. And then the next phase on the channel this year, hopefully is gonna be adding solar. So putting in a solar array outside, bringing in the wires into this closet, and then giving my uh, Delta Pro 3, maybe three or 4,000 watts of continuous solar on a sunny day. So yeah, guys, long video, but haven't done one like this on a while on the channel. I wanna do an update as to where I went with all this stuff and I purchased all this stuff with my own money, took out some loans to do it. You know, I'm not, <laughs> not trying to say, just go and do this kind of stuff. I'm investing in power for the house. And I know there's gonna be a million comments of, oh, you could have done server rack and you could have done this and that. I need this stuff to be portable, plug and play and movable from one house to another. So if I need to bring it to my parents' house, my in-laws' house, I can't have, I don't wanna have stationary setups really when it comes to the, the power solution. So that's really why it shows EcoFlow. And I think that their quality seems to be pretty good. I don't like the fact that this is so sensitive with generator input power, but that's my fault for not having an inverter generator. So there's always gonna be something else to buy and get and do, but this is a hobby kind of now it's turned into and it's a it's kind of a fun thing to do um and i feel like it's it's fun investing in stuff that can actually you know keep you powered up especially when you run a business from home so here it is again just so you guys can see we've pulled up about 10 percent while we're talking on this video so if you guys like this video like comment and subscribe and i got a couple more formal videos coming out soon on each one of these units i'm going to give unbiased review on the EcoFlow stuff, being a non-sponsored YouTuber, whereas I feel like a lot of the YouTubers out there are all sponsored, so they may be getting a, a little bit of a, a kickback or kind of being told what to say. I'm gonna give you my honest thoughts on these things. So thanks for watching, catch you in the next one.